Okay, so uh, a guy called Simon asked um, on a previous video, what are the early signs of Zoe motor failure? Um, the motor failure is quite a big issue um, on this motor type. So this is the 5AQ motor. Um, it's distinguishable because it's got the air a blower which actually cools the motor so this is the um the fan part and then it goes down there and it actually goes um into what is the reduction gear but then it, it doesn't go through the reduction gear it actually blows through the motor but it is actually bolted onto the reduction gear um but yeah if you've got a zone it's got the metal box on the top this is not this is not the issue it's got to, it's got to look like this with a black blower fan with Renault written on it um and this is the 5aq motor so these cars um, it's known as 5AQ sort of all the way through into the ZD50 from the ZD22 um, but the sort of variants um, would be your um, R240 for ZD22, your R90 for the ZD40 um, and there's some R110s started in ZD40, the R110 continues into ZD50 and there's also an R135. Okay so the R240, R90, R110, R135. Um, all can have this issue and we have heard of zd 50s having this issue as well um so yeah so what's it all about so basically the motor bearings can wear out um it starts as a um low sort of hollow rumble or kind of scraping noise a little bit difficult to distinguish possibly from a wheel bearing but it's not so much a drone um, it's more of that rumble or metallic scraping noise. It's it, it's kind of exactly what you'd expect um, a rusty dry bearing to sound like. And this was is, this this car is in it is in the early stages. The guy did drive it here, um, which I thought was quite brave. Um, but um, yeah, he made it. He took it easy. This is an 18 plate car, so it's not a particularly old car. This is a ZD40. Um, the guy bought it at auction, um, presumably customer. Um, owner got rid of it when, when it started making this noise. Um, but um, yeah, I'm going to um, have a little drive to see if you can see if you can hear this noise. Oh, the wind's just picked up as well, perfect. This is, um, I'm gonna shut the bonnet as well, that'd be a good idea. The, um, this is a gravel track. Um, so yeah, it's, um, it's gonna be a bit of tire noise, but um, hopefully this is distinguishable. Hide the, uh, hold the fan out the window. So, yeah, just for reference, this car has done 68,000 miles, just over, um, and uh, yeah, we have got bearing issues. Right, so let's go for it. Let's put this out here. So hopefully that's distinguishable. I'm just gonna go forwards again because it's quite notable in the cabin. And it is that kind of hollow rumble noise. Um, let's just go backwards again. Yeah, so that kind of um, yeah rumble scraping kind of noise, um, that is the early signs um, of motor bearing failure. Um, so yeah, customer actually bought his own motor and he's brought the motor. He was happy, happy to do it himself, but it is a very involved job. Uh, we do it by the Renault procedure and the book time is about 12 hours. Um, and that's not with any diagnostics. That's about five hours stripped down. That's about two hours to um, take the stack apart. Um, and swap the motor over um, so you rebuild the stack with the new motor around the new motor um, and then you um, put it all back in again about another five hours so yeah all fun and games um, and then um, we'll get started with this today all right hope that helps cheers